As we continue building the Y axis, it becomes apparent I am running out of space on my workbench. So at this point in time, I might as well start building the table where the machine will reside. I am not going to bore you with details on how to cut steel and weld it together, as there are plenty of way better channels out there depicting how to just do that. All I will say is the table measures roughly 4 feet by 4 feet, is made with 2 by 2 square tubing for the legs and a bunch of 1 by 2 rectangular tubing for the frame. What I do want to spend some time documenting is what caster system I will be using to move this monstrosity once complete. My goal in life is to have everything on wheels, because even if I had a workshop the size of the Milky Way, I would probably need to move stuff all the time. On this workbench, I solved such problem by adding casters inside the frame and then stoppers on the legs. If only there was a caster which included the stoppers like right there on the wheel. Wano! Have been eyeing these casters for a while, so I decided to try them on this project. Cut some coupon slats and mark them for holes at the Tormac PCNC 1100. This way, they all come out identical and with the holes exactly where they need to be. The holes, however, were drilled at the drill as this is much quicker when wanting to do a bunch. To mark where the coupon slats are meant to be welded into the square tubing leg, I cut a template on the laser. The coupons were scribed and then welded into the legs. These coupons were not threaded so had to assemble them the typical way with nuts and bolts. So let's see how these casters are by loading the rubber pad into the ground. Mostly rigid, although will probably not survive King Kong's attack. But for what I need them, they will do nicely. Leave the rubber pads and you're welcome to dance Macarena with your assembly. Or Lambada, whichever you prefer. Not going to get critical, to be honest. But hey, our CNC router table is complete and movable. So on the next videos, we will continue manufacturing the Y-axis. Want to thank you for tuning to my YouTube channel, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.